I'm Amy, I'm living in Chrysalis, and I'm doing the summer not a bummer tag. Let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back. This tag is by Stephanie Clayton and I believe English Prof Style. Apparently it was supposed to be a collab, but then English Prof Style had to duck out. But that's okay, I'm jumping in. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share. So yes, it's daylight, which means it's really messing up my lighting. On the other hand, I have makeup on and it seems like such a waste to not knock a video out of the way. So here we go. The summer not a bummer tag. The first set of questions is about makeup and skincare. How high in SPF do you use poolside on a normal day, face or body, or face and body? The main times that I'm poolside is I work with a kid's summer program, and so we take the kids to the pool. I don't normally go to the pool, but when I go with them, I'll usually use whatever I can get my hands on. Um, I like to do a 50 on my face, um, maybe a 50 or 60 on my arms and upper body and for my lower body a lot of times I might throw a little bit on the tops of my feet but I don't really put any on my legs because they don't really get much sun anyway so the slightest bit of color they can get is pr pretty okay. For an eyeshadow look what colors do you prefer in summer? Um, well Summer, depending on what I'm doing, I may not even wear makeup, but I tend to kind of match my makeup to the occasion. For instance, if it's kind of outdoorsy, but still seems like makeup would be appropriate, I will put on maybe some lighter colors. Otherwise, uh, just pretty much either do whatever or don't do any makeup at all. What's your favorite nail polish color this time of year? Well, for the last few years, I haven't really been doing nail polish on my hands. And that's because between the working with kids and during the summers, I tend to get quite outdoorsy. So I just, I don't want to mess it up. On my feet, I like to do bright colors, very bright colors, bright pink, bright orange, bright blue. Do you find yourself wearing less makeup due to the heat? Yeah, oh yeah, um, unless it's for an occasion that uh, calls for makeup, but just on a day-to-day -day basis, I either wear little or none. Do you use a light BB cream, full on foundation, or nothing at all? Actually, most days I will use um, a light BB foundation if I'm not going to be someplace like the pool where you know, it's going to run and get all gross, just because I want to make my skin look a little bit better. So yeah. You use body highlighters. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Do you chill your skincare? Also no. I don't have that kind of time and probably my husband would see something in the fridge, think it was expired food and throw it away. Does your skin type change with the seasons? Typically no, but this past winter I did actually find myself um, using my Belif Aqua Bomb because my skin actually started to feel a bit tight and I believe that was the first time that that has ever happened to me absent to sunburn or something. So that was peculiar. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this situation. What is your favorite setting spray to lock it all in? I'm still exploring. So if anybody has ideas, please let me know. I got all excited um, when I saw that Ulta had a setting spray that also had SPF in it, but I tried it and it stung my eyes. So that went back to the store. I was very sad. What is your must-have makeup this time of year? I'm going to say a BB cream with SPF. Just to make, to make my skin look a little bit better. 
um, give me an extra layer of SPF and yeah, that's about it. This next section is about fashion. What is your favorite article of clothing to wear in summer? Um, <laughs> my kayaking outfit, which is my main swimsuit. I just have a, uh, like a tankini top and men's board shorts, you know, swim trunks. I don't want to sunburn any delicate bits. I tend to be more outdoorsy in the summer and I don't really like to, dang it, I don't really like to um, worry about bits and bobs popping out. I just want to wear something that'll dry easily when I get it wet and I can go about my life and I won't feel weird about walking into a store if I need something. What accessories are your favorite in summer? Scrunchies. <laughs> get my hair up, out of my way, out of, stop from bothering me. Um, let's see, small earrings that aren't going to touch my skin and distract me. I don't like wearing necklaces or bracelets in the summer because you know, it's, it's the touching and the hot and the, no. I swear I have something in this eye and I can't find it. It is driving me crazy. So if I, if I'm going a little wonky, that's why. Capris shorts or skirts and or dresses. Capris. And what I mean by capris is I generally like them just below my knee. I do not have nice legs. I and also the way my legs are built, they rub together, even all the way down to the knee now. Um, when I was thin, they would still rub together into about the mid thigh. So even when I was young and thin, I was still wearing like those um, spandex bicycle shorts underneath my skirts and dresses because it was just so uncomfortable. It's just the way I'm built. Yeah. See? But um, for a long time, I wouldn't even wear, you know, anything that showed my legs. But I'm old, I'm married, and I'm hot. So I'll go with just below the knee capris because you know, I don't want to die of heat stroke. Do you like camping? Yes, I do. I do. So um, some girlfriends and I have been talking about wanting to put together a kayaking camping trip which I think would be amazing. I don't have any camping stuff but hopefully we can get our hands on some. What is your favorite song that gets you into the summer mood? I don't really have a song for that but um oh years ago I there was a cassette I picked up in Florida. It was a local band called Black Janet and that whole cassette, when I'd throw it in my, in my player. Now, my current car does not have a cassette deck, which I'm a little sad about. But this whole album was just so summer to me. What do you like to drink? And is it alcoholic or not? <laughs> yeah. It tastes just like Dr. Pepper and it's 62 cents. So, that's some pretty tasty stuff. As far as alcoholic drinks, um, I haven't been drinking much of them lately. My, my go-to is Bacardi and Diet, the, the white Bacardi. But uh, I'm open to, oh, I'm open to some things here and there. The only hitch is that I'm, is that because I have to be gluten-free, there are a lot of things that I can't have. What is your favorite summertime treat? There's a local ice cream place, one of, the, one of the seasonal ones, and because their daughter has celiac disease, they make their own homemade gluten-free waffle cones. Oh, they're fantastic. They're delicious. I mean, even just the waffle cones. So it's so nice to actually be able to have and hold an ice cream cone 
in my hand instead of having to get my ice cream in a dish. Oh, and, and their ice cream is really good too. It's homemade and oh, wonderful. So, Do you play sports in the summer? No, nope. I don't do any organized sports, but I kayak and I like to, you know, like climb around on on rocks and you know, just kind of hang out. So that's cool. But as far as any actual organized sports, nope. Did play Little League softball when I was a kid. I was really bad at it. And the final question, what's your favorite summertime memory? When I was a kid, and I think it was up until I was 14, my dad's parents had a place at this summer resort. And it was one where it was, it was at a lake or several lakes, I'm not entirely sure. But it was all like trailers and mobile homes. <laughs> but they were just, it was just seasonal. Everyone would go around on golf carts. That's how you, that was the main way you got around the park to the different activities and, and stuff. Uh, and my parents would send us the, their, I mean, of course we would go and visit them several times over the summer, but then we would spend a week with them during um, the, like the Bible school week. So, you know, so there was an activity for us to do. So we would go to like the Bible school thing. And there were also, you know, movies for the kids, you know, like outdoor movies for the kids. Um, and, oh, let's see, and at my grandparents' trailer, they, theirs was, like, right on the lake. Their, their property was right on the lake, and for quite a while, um, there was a tree kind of bending over it, so my grandpa had put a rope, you know, a, a rope for us to swing and jump, which was awesome. And he initially had a speedboat, and then, which was cool, and then he traded in for a pontoon, not as cool. Oh, let's see. And yeah, so pretty much that's where I learned to swim. And my little sister was a terrible swimmer, so I kept having to pull her out, you know, to save her butt. And I remember once a uh, a horsefly landed right on top of her head when we were swimming. And so she's screaming because it's stinging her. And I'm heaving up these great handfuls of water to try to knock this thing off her head. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. They sold it when I was 14. They wanted my dad to buy it, but that wasn't going to happen. <sighs> but I haven't forgotten. That was really awesome. Thank you so much to Stephanie Clayton and English Prof Style for coming up with this tag. This was a lot of fun. And, of course, I tag everybody else. So do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I tag you, do it. And of course, thank you for supporting my channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. <laughs>